The village of Sunapee Harbor looks like the quintessential New England town, but it could have been a lot different. We're only talking three decades ago that this was the mission of some people to make this be for private use. It would have just been very different. This landform would have still been here, but it would have been used for a private entity if you bought into it, where we all couldn't come and enjoy and walk around and enjoy it 365 days a year. 30 years ago, a group of people concerned about the future of the village formed the Sunapee Harbor Riverway Corporation to preserve the harbor. Riverway board member, Abby Peel. Well, I think the Riverway hopes to protect and preserve the access that is here, whether it be that you can walk along the waterfront or that you could put a boat in or you could go over to the beach that's in the harbor and sit there, enjoy a book, a picnic, those sorts of things. To fund their mission, the Riverway Corporation began selling shares to residents and businesses who shared an interest in both making improvements and in preservation. They set a price of $250 a share, and whoever wanted to buy a share, you could buy one, you could buy a thousand, and that money would be used to save the harbor. The for-profit Riverway then purchased numerous buildings along the harbor front. Fast forward here 30 years, that's what we're doing, is working off of the income that we get from these rental properties to keep the Riverway going in order for this to remain a, a public usage space. The Riverway's newest tenant is the Lake Shop. Owner Greg Lagrateria says he fell in love with the lake and knew this was the right spot for his next door. It's just this most special place. You talk about flip-flops and you talk about bathing suits and you talk about stuff, but you're grateful to live here and you're grateful to shop here and you're grateful to be a part of this community. A community that many local residents and businesses have worked to preserve. This is a sweet little bubble that we have to protect here. But Sunapee Harbor is only one gem on the Lake Sunapee Scenic Byway. As we drive south toward the town of Newbury, we stop at the John Hay Estate at the Fells. This is a treasure on Lake Sunapee. Susan Warren says John Hay may be the most famous person you've never heard of. Why do you think it is that people are not very familiar with who John Hay. I don't know whether it was the time period or just what he did. He had no Twitter account, I already checked. So. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yeah, so. But he was a prolific writer and a poet. He was the private secretary to Abraham Lincoln. And he and was only like, what, 22 or something? 22 when <laughs> he came, went to Washington, D.C. with Lincoln. And he became uh, Secretary of State under McKinley yeah. and Roosevelt and then went on to become the ambassador to the court of St. James and was Queen Victoria's favorite dinner partner. Not just anybody gets to be that. No, <laughs> that's, a, that's quite an honor. John Hay and his wife Clara love New Hampshire's Sunapee region. In 1888, Hay began acquiring land along the lake. To escape from public life, the couple had this home built in 1892. And while the 22-room estate is magnificent, it's the gardens that really shine. We have five amazingly beautiful gardens that were inspired and built by Clarence Hay, who was second generation, that was John Milton Hay's son. He was a horticulturalist and became the first president of the American Rock Garden Society. In 2008, the Friends of the Fells purchased these 84 acres from the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department, saving the land from potential development, says Warren. It was the group of friends that saw the potential, saw the treasure, and said, we have to do something. And that's what I think it takes in life anyway. People have to recognize that there is something like this, and they have to see the vision and then make it become reality. Today, there are programs and tours at the Fells to help visitors understand the nature around them. We have five very long hiking trails, but yet they are uh, very easy to navigate for all ages. And we invite families to come and do all of the trails. And one is a beautiful one called the Lake Loop that goes right down to the lake, looks out over Lake Sunapee. And more than 130 years later, this land and that view continue to draw people to the fells. John Milton Hay was the one that saw it to begin with. And he said he had never seen anything like the mountains and the water and the air. 
So pretty. And after the Civil War, the state of New Hampshire published ads encouraging wealthy mm. out-of-towners to buy abandoned farms and land in the state of New Hampshire. Right, and uh, train service began at that time. That gave access, obviously, to tourists to come up to the area. And it was John Hay who took up New Hampshire mm -hmm. on their offer, bought some of that abandoned farmland, and turned it into the area now known as the Fells.